Hello. All right, so I'm gonna be eating my dinner because I made chicken tikka masala with rice. Um, hello everyone. There are some things I would like to address. I would like to have a serious answer. I would like to know for real, seriously. I would like to know from reaction channels that make such a big, or people who follow them, what gives you the right to be invasive and know my visa status? Number one question for you. Number two, how does this affect your life in any way? Number three, when did reacting become, it went from reacting to videos to being invasive in my personal life? I'd like to know that. On a serious level, I would like to know that in, in the next videos because there's this drama going around that Pete's apparently said some things, probably not realizing that it was a big deal. You know, he probably didn't think, oh, People are going to talk about this, like, her visa, who cares, you know? So I just want to clear some things up. Number one, I'm not mad at Pete's and I'll never be mad at Pete's, so. So basically, for those of you who are new and don't know who Pete's is, he was well my former roommate but he's been a friend like a best friend for like probably i don't know how many years now but since like high school okay that won't change and people like to divert your signal well as a muslim woman you're not allowed to have friends maybe that's true that's not your business so he also apparently said so apparently he said when i was down in canada i visited his mom and uh, was talking about, you know, how I would border hop. I'm not, I can't afford to come to Canada. Just plane tickets are expensive, all right? As for the plane, plane fare, yeah, it's expensive. It's even more than he said, usually. Um because i usually go last minute like i book my plane ticket last minute so it's always more um so it's expensive it's expensive to go travel to canada it's a, a very expensive plane ticket it's not something i even like technically yeah i could pay for it or he could pay for it or we could pay for it whatever it's no one's business technically a ticket could be bought but then like we have bills like i have a lot of debts i have to deal with from canada um we have our bills here, you know, and we are planning for other travel. And so for me to just go to Canada, like for no reason, like even a couple of times a year, it is expensive. And I have been doing it, you know, I've been going, but so he's technically right. The airfare is expensive and he's probably just assuming, you know, <laughs> because I never was rich or anything and I'm not rich. I don't see what the T in is that like, what's the T? Oh no, she can't afford a plane ticket to Canada. If I need to go to Canada, I'll get there. Don't worry about it. As for the border hopping, at one point, yeah. Number one, I'm not going to talk about my visa status. I'm not going to confirm or deny anything because literally it's no one's business. I don't know where the one up is and saying, oh yeah, we were right. Who cares even if it was true? Who cares what visa I'm on here? You can't just come here. At first, yeah, it was a tourist visa and I would border hop somewhere sometimes. Yes, of course. So what? What's your point? I don't know what, like, can you please tell me what the T is? Um, you don't just come here and get a visa. It's hard. They've changed the rules a lot. You don't know what my visa status is now. Even Pete's doesn't know because I haven't told him anything in a while. Um, I used to border hop, yes. Now, I'm not telling you. For example, they've recently changed the rules 
where you can have a family visa here now. Like somebody, it depends on a lot of things. You have to have a certain amount of money and all this and that. Not an, not like an unreasonable amount, but there's like criteria. And then, and Salah fits the criteria. So I'm just saying like they've changed things for family visas. I'm not saying that's what I'm doing. I'm not saying it's not what I'm doing. I'm not telling you on purpose. Like I don't want that privacy, pri uh, private, information to be told for people to exploit it for views because they have nothing all right they're literally desperate low to the point where they have nothing else that they have to make tea out of what my visa status is in a country as if that has any true meaning to their life like whatsoever I don't say I lied because I purposely was vague and I would say yes, no, yes, no on purpose because it's not anyone's business. I don't want you to know what it is because again, it's my life. It's my business, not yours. The need to have all of this information about my private life is insanely invasive and insanely pathetic for content. Have you seen people call, say they're going to call the Kuwait authorities? People say they're going to show up at the airport. People looking up my tickets when I'm going on a flight. People showing up. People go real life on me all the time, Stephanie. So I'm trying to protect myself and my privacy. I don't need people knowing all my business. Just like I don't show people um, my uh, marriage certificate. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, they're not pulling me out of a peaceful place, but I'm definitely addressing it. People are that low and that obsessed with me um, that they would do something like that, for sure. And, of, of course, Kuwait authorities are going to think that these people are just stupid, which they are, and probably hang up on them. <laughs> which they should. Yeah, I think it's just more prudent to be very secretive about things like this. Genuinely, none of these things are anyone's business. And I'm not going to turn against Pete's. He's not going to turn against me. You can keep trying. It's not going to happen. Like, these people are like, like, these people berate me every day and they think they're any better morally and they're going to go to heaven? No. And by the way, And whenever I was telling Pete's mom that, it, it meant when I was doing that. At one point I was. Yeah, so it's no secret. By the way, you have to also leave the country to come back in with a new status. So womp womp, you really found out nothing. And even if you did, who cares? Like, I don't see how that makes any difference to anyone's life. They don't like when it's turned on them, too bad. And um, they don't like that they can't get a one-up on me because nothing they do has an effect on my life. Peace just doesn't feel the need to lie about stuff that doesn't need, exactly, Diamond, that's what I said. He probably didn't feel like it was a big deal. But I, I, I just gently remind him that I have vultures following me around. You know, thinking that it's a one-up or it's like this big revelation about a visa status. Like, I don't know how people don't look at these people and think they're hella weird. You know, guaranteed people from Kuwait would think you're weird at that kind of stuff. <laughs> like any, from like normal people in general would think you're weird. If you, you approach somebody here and was like, uh, there's a girl, her visa status, but like, what kind of like BS is that? It's so invasive. It's just stupid. I gotta activate the shisha. Who knows? There's instigators. They're making um, 
drama, trying to, to draw a wedge between Pete's and I. You know, Pete said some things about me, like about like um, things I said to his mom about Visa and all that stuff. Um, because, yeah, when I first came here and for a while, I would have to do that because I was on a tourist visa. You could only be here 90 days. But you don't know what it is now. You have no idea, you know. Um, you have to leave the country. So for all you know, I, I went to Canada. I went to Pete's mom's and told them that's what I used to do. And I'm in Canada now because I have to go back into the country. You don't know. You don't know shit. So, I don't want to talk about them because I don't want to give them clout. <sighs> no, I'm not getting uh, wrinkles. Hate by assumptions, exactly. Just like that stupid <laughs> documentary. She put her sister in the dryer. She treated her mom like, like, you don't know exactly, like, we don't know anything. There's no proof. I'm being a naughty bee. there not soon. I don't know. They're trying to hurt other creators who support me. But really, it has no effect on my life. Like I said, like, even if that one person doesn't support me, it doesn't matter. They had like maybe 10 people in their chat, 20 people at the most. Doesn't affect my life. Doesn't affect my life. And I wasn't after their subscribers, their 20 subscribers, okay? Like, whatever. Like, yeah, I'm looking for different support from different people. Can you blame me? Look at this. Look how crappy Gore World is. It's a disease. It's a literal disease on YouTube. Crystal! Thank you for the heart, Crystal. I appreciate it. It really is. <clears throat> I loved Muppets. They are creepy, though, especially Fraggle Rock. My favorite coffee? Oh, I actually like coffee. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, there's nothing. It's big nothing burger. Still don't know anything. You can Google all you want. Like I said, with our marriage, our situation wasn't on Google. So good luck. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys after. Bye.